Hey guys, I'm here at the Marina Barrage and uh, I'm going to be shooting the sunset today over at Gardens by the Bay East. Hopefully you get a good sunset. So I just realized uh, after walking so far here that I left my panoramic kit in the car and it's a long walk back. We're gonna try to make do without it. Uh, so while walking towards my spot for the sunset, I noticed something very special. Okay, check out all these flowers. You know, uh, it's quite rare to see fields like this, fields of flowers in Singapore. So I'm gonna try and see if uh, I can get some good shots out of this. So uh, this few of our wallflowers. It looks very interesting. Um, it's a very nice foreground but it does present quite a challenging image to capture because of the depth of field. Um, probably need to focus stack. So um, yeah I'm going to try to get, get a few shots. So I found a different spot, beautiful flowers, um, besides focus, dynamic range is a problem because uh, the sun is still so bright out there, but uh, I'm going to try to get a, get a few shots, I'm uh, going to be shooting it at f16 and uh, to maximize the depth of view. You can see the sun has uh, gone down uh, beneath the F1 building and uh, there goes the beautiful light that I was shooting with but uh, that was great um, I'm gonna take those photos back into Photoshop yeah like I was saying I'm gonna take those photos back into Photoshop and let's see whether we can get some pretty nice edits out of it So the sun has gone down um, and that wonderful golden light that I was shooting with with the flowers uh, on the grass over here is is gone so there's still a bit of sunset left and there is still the blue hour so I'm gonna set up at my original shoot location and uh, I'll see you guys over there So I'm here at the, it's a very popular spot at Gardens by the Bay East for sunset. Um, lots of people shoot here, but uh, I'm gonna let you in on a secret. Um, as far as I'm concerned, there's only one proper spot to shoot this place, and that is right where I'm standing. Because if you see over here, the Singapore Flyer 
does not overlap with any of the buildings on the left or on the right side. So if you are shooting here, um, you got to find this spot. You got to come to to where the Singapore Flyer doesn't overlap with any of the other buildings, because uh, as far as I'm concerned, uh, it is a compositional mistake to have the Singapore Flyer overlapping with other buildings, uh, especially when the lights come on and you can see that uh, it just doesn't look that good. Um, when you have the flyer in this position, you can actually get a long exposure, uh, get a complete rotation of the lights on the flyer, so it, it looks like one beautiful uh, ring of light. So uh, that's my tip for you guys. So I'm set up here, um, right in front of the water. Um, I really love the sunset, the colour is amazing, just look at that. But uh, unfortunately the water is very choppy, so um, what I did is that I put a 6 stop ND filter uh, in front of the lens and I have it set for 30 second exposure. Hopefully that smoothens out the water enough so that it looks good. Um, let's see if I can give you guys a preview here. Yeah, it looks it looks fine. I mean, it's not it's not great. And uh, like I mentioned earlier, I also unfortunately I forgot to take out my panoramic kit, so uh, I can't get the whole sunset, the the whole skyline. But uh, I guess this this will have to do for now. Um, let me try to get a few more shots uh, with better exposure than this. Hey guys, I'm not sure if you guys can see me or hear me, the waves are pretty loud and it is pretty dark here. I'm trying something that I've never tried in Singapore before and that is to shoot the Milky Way. I think I got a couple of uh, shots that look pretty alright and uh, I'm going to be looking forward to showing you guys these shots. And uh, Milky Way photography is something that, that um, I've never really tried but I think it's, it's something that's very interesting and definitely something that I'll be looking into next. Um, so hopefully I'll have some more content that features shooting the Milky Way in Singapore for you guys coming right up soon.